welcome to our channel melting man in this video we are going to discuss about six standard new syllabus term one unit one measurement book pack question and answers if you didn't watch the previous video please watch that previous video because in that video we discussed uh, the uh, detailed explanation of the measurement then only you can understand this video let's see here first row monitor choose the correct answer the girth first question the girth of a tree can be measured by your options are there meter scale meter rod plastic ruler measuring tape first see here girth is nothing but the surrounding of the tree in the surrounding of the tree we can measure this surrounding of the tree by using the measuring tape so the answer is measuring tape next second one the conversion of 7 meter into centimeter gives what Option A 70 cm, Option B 7 cm, Option C 700 cm, Option D 7000 cm. Here just, just see 1 meter equal to what? 100 cm. So just multiply with 100 in this sound. 7 into 100 we get 700. So 700 cm is the answer. Third one. Quantity that can be measured is called what? Option A physical quantity option b measurement option c unit option d motion so here the correct answer is option a physical quantity next fourth one choose the correct one here we have to see that uh, uh, units of the length in a higher value see kilometer option a kilometer millimeter centimeter meter this is not the correct manner if kilometer that means next they will come meter will come so this is not a correct correct one next option b kilometer millimeter centimeter kilometer so this is also the wrong here the kilometer comes twice so it is also the wrong next c kilometer meter centimeter millimeter yes it is the correct answer after kilometer the meter will come see one kilometer equal to thousand meter one meter equal to hundred centimeter one centimeter equal to ten millimeter 10 millimeter equal to 10, 1 centimeter equal to 10 millimeter. So this is the correct way. So C is the correct answer. Option C is correct answer. Next fifth one. While measuring the length using a ruler, the position of your eye should be left side of the point, vertic be uh, vertically above the point where the measurement is to be taken. C right side of the point. D anywhere according to one's convenience. Just see if you are seeing an object, measuring an object, the vertical position is very important. So B1 is a correct answer, vertically above the point where the measurement is to be taken. Okay. Next second number letter, this is true or false. See the first question. 126 kg is the correct way of expressing mass. Yes, it is a correct way. So it's true. Length of one's chest can be measured by using meter scale. Second one, no. We can use a measuring tape to measure the length of the chest. So this is false. Third one, 10 millimeter makes one centimeter. Yes, it makes. So it's true. A hand span is a reliable measure to length. This fourth one, no, we can't. Uh, it's not a appropriate measurement. Give appropriate measurement. So it's false because hand span is what. That inches we are measuring our with our hand using the inches. It's not give the gives you a correct you correct measurement. So it's wrong. It's false. Next is the fifth one. The SA units of the SA system of units is accepted everywhere in the world. Yes, it's accepted. It's common to every world, whole world. Okay. Next, fill up the blanks. See first one. SA unit of length is symbolically represent as what? We already discussed length is meter, so we discuss, we represent it in m. Okay, next second one, 500 gram equal to dash kilogram. How can you convert gram into kilogram? You see, one gram equal to what? Thousand kilogram. So just divide 500 divided by thousand, we get 0 0.5. So answer is 0 0.5 kilogram. Next third one is distance between the Delhi and Chennai can be measured in what? We can measure it in kilometer only. You know the distance between any cities we are using. We are representing kilometer only. So answer is kilometer. Fourth one, one meter equal to dash centimeter. Everybody knows it's hundred centimeter. Next, see fifth one, five kilometer equal to dash meter. If one kilometer equal thousand meter means five kilometer equal to 
thousand into five is five thousand meter. So five thousand is the answer. Next fourth thermometer analogy. First one, see your first question. Sugar beam balance. Lime juice is what they ask there. First, see sugar. Uh, we are measuring the amount of sugar using the beam balance. That they are represented here. Next one is a lime juice. By using by using which measuring tool we are measuring the lime juice. It's in volume, no. So the correct answer is measuring jar. Next one, second one, height of a person centimeter. See height of a person. Uh, some some person's height can, we can represent it in centimeter. So next length of your sharpened pencil lead. How can you represent the pencil lead length in the standard unit? So that's a millimeter. Correct answer is millimeter. Next, milk. We are uh, we are uh, we are measuring the milk using the volume. Okay, that's they are given here. Next, vegetables. What is the standard one for vegetables to measuring it? It's mass. Mass. We are measuring the vegetables in weight only. So we represent it here mass. Next one. We have to match this following. They are given length of the forearm, SA unit of length, nano, SA unit of time, kilo, that and all. First C. First one, length of the forearm. How can you represent the length of a forearm? We can represent it in cubic. Okay. Next, SA unit of length. Everybody knows SA unit of length is what? Meter. Meter is answer. Next, nano. Third one is nano. First, remember, if mono means one, one. by means two. So nano means you are you have to get that knowledge of nano means nine. So we are here we are representing nano is ten power minus nine. S unit of time is what second kilo kilo means what ten power three ten power three we can also write ten power three is equal to thousand. So one kilogram equal to thousand gram. That is they are representing here. Next sixth row letter. Here they they are given one side. We have to write the other side of the n. Here, see first see here, volume equal to what? The opposite side of volume is what? Volume we are uh, measuring the volume using the uh, unit liter, or if you are measuring the volume of a liquid, we are representing centimeter cube. Here, uh, both uh, from this both any one will come liter or cubic meter. That's meter cube. Next one in the other side they are uh, given a kg. What is the kg? When we are representing the kg, when we are using the mass of in any object, we can represent the kg. Your mass is an answer. Next, length of your little finger. Length of your little finger. How can we measure the length length of your little finger? It can measure by measuring scale and all, which is in which format, which unit of length. It's in centimeter. So its answer is centimeter. Distance between two cities. We seen it in uh, the previous question. Distance between two cities we always represent it in kilometer. Okay. Next one, seventh row letter. Arrange in increasing increasing order of unit. Increasing order means what? See here one meter, centimeter, kilometer, one millimeter. Increasing order is what? From low to high. Here millimeter is a low. Second centimeter is second one. Third is a meter. Fourth one is kilometer. So we write it in one millimeter is less than one centimeter is less than one mill millimeter one meter is less than one kilometer. So this is the correct answer. Next, the we are using to find the answer in this grid. Grid, grid is nothing but it's in box. That's it. Here we are. Uh, uh, I rounded uh, some of the sentences sentences which are used uh, as an answer in the following questions. Let's see the following questions. See. Find the answers following question within the grid. Grid is that box. Just round it and uh, just we, without the box we can answer it very easily. Just see. Uh, first one. 10 power minus 3 is 1 dash. 10 power minus 3 is what? Minus 3 means that uh, point will goes in the reverse order. So that will uh, is a 1 millimeter. Second one. SA unit of time is what? Second. Cross view of reading for a measurement leads to what? We are used to view the measuring in a straight vertical manner. If you use it in a cross manner, means what will happen here? It makes error. So error is the answer here. 
fourth one dash is a one what a clock reads that's answer is what time is the answer next dash is the amount of substance present in an object in an object what is present there mass is present there. so mass is an answer so sixth one dash can be taken to get the final reading of the recordings of different of the students for a single measurement by analyzing two two persons or two or more persons uh, marks and all we are using the average method so the answer is average sixth one for seventh one dash is a fundamental quantity length is a fundamental quantity length mass time these and all a fundamental quantity okay next see the eighth question dash shows the distance covered by an automobile dash shows the distance covered by automobile what is shows the answer is odometer odometer this that that the instrument only shows you the distance covered by an automobile so its answer is odometer ninth one a tailor used dash to take measurements to stitch a cloth we everywhere we see in the tailor shop the tailor use the measuring tape to take the measurement of to stitch the cloth so tape is a correct answer here next ten one liquids are measured with this physical quantity which physical quantity liquids are measured we have already seen it it's liter so liter is a correct answer next ninth row letter answer in a word or two word so see the first one what is the full form of sa unit sa unit is for full form of sa unit was what international system of units next see the second one name any one instruments used for measuring mass in which is instrument we are using to measure the mass that's the beam balance okay the beam balance is the correct answer find the odd or not just observe it they are given kilogram millimeter centimeter nanometer in this kilogram is only the different thing this millimeter centimeter nanometers are come under the units of length so kilogram is the only different thing here so kilogram is a odd one so we found out the odd one that's a kilogram what is the sa unit of mass sa unit of mass is what we already discussed in the previous question also in previous video also it's a kilogram next what are the two parts present in a measurement what is that in measurement a number and the units are the two parts that's essential okay there's a answer for this fifth one next is the 10th row letter answer it in a sentence or two okay first one define measurement we already seen what is a measurement the comparison of an unknown quantity by using the known quantity is known as a measurement just see comparison of unknown quantity is what is our object our measuring object we don't don't know the exact measurement of that value by the known quantity is what it's whatever that is a measuring tool it's meter scale or measuring a, a cylinder like that it's like that okay the next second one define mass mass is what it's a we can represent the mass in kilogram see what is the answer of mass mass is the measurement of the amount of meter in object it's measuring the amount of a matter so amount of matter is what that's object object's amount of matter so that's they are given here next third one the distance between two places 43.65 km we have to convert it in into meter and centimeter so first convert it in meter okay convert kilometer into meter we already know one kilometer equal to thousand meter then 43.65 kilometer is what we have to multiply with it in thousand meter so 43.65 into thousand we get 4365.00 find the zero or uh, not a valuable thing that's neglect the zeros after that we write 43 Four three six four thousand three hundred sixty five meter. So by converting the forty three point six five kilometer into meter, we get four thousand three hundred sixty five meter. This meter kilometer are very important. You should denote it in correct manner. If you didn't denote the meter centimeter, that has a unit means they will reduce the mark in your exam. Okay. Next, we have to convert kilometer into centimeter. In that same number. So see, we know that one kilometer equal to thousand meter. One meter equal to hundred centimeter. Just if we convert meet kilometer to centimeter means just uh, multiply with it hundred, we get one lakh centimeter. 
next in that centimeter 1 lakh we get so multiply that 1 lakh with 43.45 kilometer then only we get the correct answer for centimeter so what is the answer here 4 lakh 36 thousand 500 4365 000 .00. the after the after the decimal point the zeros are not valid so we can uh, neglect that and write it as answer directly so that's the answer next one is the fourth how will you measure the volume of an irregular object we already seen it in the earlier video we can measure we can measure it in using the measuring jar by filling the water uh, after filling the water we have to immerse the object in it uh, then uh, how many water how many centimeter or uh, uh, how many centimeter the water level is increased by seeing that we can reduce it so, uh, before centimeter into after centimeter we can get it by subtracting that we can get the correct value we can we have to represent it in centimeter uh, cube okay we already discussed it in the previous video so the answer is you can find the volume of an irregular object by immersing it in the water in the beaker or other containers with volume markings and the, by seeing how much the levels goes up okay next is the fifth one what are the rule rules to be followed to make accurate measurement with scale the three main rules are there let's see first one take care to write the correct sub multiple okay sub multiple is what 2.2 like that always keep the object in parallel to the school parallel is what it's a straight view that's the parallel they are mentioning here third one start the measurement from zero of the scale what is the zero? Zero in, in every scale they gave a zero they start with the zero centimeter. You don't start with the one centimeter and all, you have to start with zero centimeter. So they that they are mentioning here. These are the three important things. Next see eleventh Roman show the following solve the following. The distance between your school and your house is two thousand two hundred and fifty meter. I express this distance in kilometer we have to convert here meter to kilometer so what is the one kilometer is what thousand centimeter thousand meter one kilometer equal to thousand meter we have to convert it in meter meter to kilometer so see one kilometer equal thousand meter means just divide divide the thousand with this two thousand two 250 meter we get 2.25 kilometer so this is the answer for this sum next second one while measuring the length of the sharpened pencil reading of the scale at one end is 2.0 centimeter and the other end is 12.1 centimeter what is the length of the pencil here they are asking to find out the length of the pencil it's very simple we when we subtract these two values we will get the answer of the uh, original length of the pencil so let's see one end of the scale at sharpened pencil is they are given is 2.0 centimeter another end of the scale at the sharpened pencil they gave it's 12.1 centimeter that's what i said what i told we have when we subtract these two things we will get the answer so let's subtract it length of the pencil equal to different between two ends so subtract 12.1 minus 2.0 we get 10.1 centimeter this is the answer for this sum i already told this centimeter mentioning this standard unit is very important if you didn't mention means they will reduce the mark make sure you are mentioning the standard units okay next see the uh, Roman letter 12 write in detail first one explain two methods those you can use to measure the length of the curved line in the this also we have discussed in the earlier video we are using to find the uh, length of the curved line by using the two methods one is the using using string method another one is the using divider method let's see the using the string method i already told in the pre uh, previous video here the string is nothing but the copper wire it's like that it's easily flexible we can flex it and fix it right over that curved line and straighten it and measure it using the measuring tail we can find out the we can find out the uh, length of the curved line accurately uh, that they are given here dry a curved line a b and a five uh, this uh, this all the same this uh, you have to write it in manner write this manner in your exam then only they will give a mark for this second one is uh, using divider divider is also first fix the divider into one centimeter like that then put it in the divider into that curved line and move it in the 
next to next order then uh, by finishing it in we can find out the how much length it is a uh, it's coming for that curved length we are adding to that one centimeter one centimeter one centimeter respectively we'll get the accurate value of this so this is the second method next fill up the following chart they are given property definition basic units instruments used for measuring we have to find a we have to write a definition basic unit instruments used for measuring and all first they are they gave length the definition of length is what the distance between one end and the desired end that is the definition so the basic unit of length is what it's meter next instrument used for measuring the length is what it's meter scale measuring tape we already know this we already discussed it all next one is a mass what is the definition of mass mass is the measure of the amount of matter in an object then the basic unit of mass is what kilogram then the instrument used for measuring mass is what that's a beam balance next volume definition of volume is what volume is the space occupied by the object then the basic unit of volume is solid meter solid meter liquid liter what is the solid we have already discussed the volume only we are discussing in two manner volume of solid object volume of liquid by measuring the volume of solid we represent it in meter cubic meter that's why we represent here solid means that's meter next liquid uh, volume of a liquid we have we are measuring the volume of liquid in a water liter only so that only these have the this, this volume only have the two basic units that's a solid for meter liquid for liter same the same like that for uh, instrument used for measuring the volume is for the solid it's for solid object we use the measuring scale to measure the object for it's in liquid means graduated cylinder we use to measure the liquid okay next one is time the definition of time is what it's the period between two events next the basic unit of time everybody knows it's second next is the instrument used for measuring the time is what it's clock everybody knows this that's it in the upcoming video we can see the unit 2 of the uh, science 600 new syllabus tamil nadu we can briefly see the explained definition of the second unit in the previous in the upcoming videos thank you subscribe to our channel and don't forget to press the bell icon bye